But here we are at Blockchain Money with a human 2.0 behind us. But uh, I'm actually joined by Adam Cleary here, an investor in blockchain technologies. Uh, Adam, what brings you to Blockchain Money this week? Uh, well, I, I heard it was going to be principally about Bitcoin, which is a refreshing novelty for uh, blockchain conferences. Uh, and uh, it has been largely about Bitcoin, which has been fantastic. Now, you're, you've been into Bitcoin for quite a long time. Mm. I mean, how long have you been around for? If you uh, don't mind since me 2013, more or less. Yeah, wow. yeah. And what sort of evolution have you seen in the technology or the people coming to these sort of events? Um, to be honest, I, I mean, uh, the similar, same sort of people, actually. Um, I mean, I, I, I have a lot of uh, friendly faces. And, uh, uh, but it's great to see the way Bitcoin has broadened out and uh, the way in which you know, you know, transactions have risen, the price has risen, uh, the, the sort of infrastructure has Im improved tremendously since 2013. I remember buying my first Bitcoins at Mt. Gox in 2013 oh, and then get, getting the money out as quickly as I could because I felt it was a bit ropey then. Well done, you got your money out. <laughs> <Yes>. well <done. laughs> But uh, since then, there's been enormous improvements in infrastructure for Bitcoin, which is, you know, which gives you much greater comfort to, to be involved and become more involved. Absolutely. And uh, you've, uh, you've at least had one, to my knowledge, I should explain, uh, Adam's quite a well-known face on the Bitcoin scene here in London. You've had at least one startup that I'm aware of, if not a couple. I mean, London seems to be quite a hub for these startups. In yeah, FinTech. absolutely. I mean, uh, there, there are some very good things going on in London. Um, uh, at the moment, uh, I'm involved in Giftoff, which is uh, giftoff.com, where you can buy um, gift cards with digital currencies um, and credit cards. But digital currency is preferable um, and uh, that's really gone extremely well and and that's that's uh, really found a very good niche and uh, you know there are some other excellent startups and uh, especially focused on bitcoin like quantave which is really starting to to get some traction um, so yeah there's some there's some very good things going on in the london scene and as, as i seem to recall you've also had an interest in gold so yes. bitcoin yes. and gold seem to be yes. partners made in heaven yes yeah indeed indeed they they did, and, and I certainly thought so, and I had this startup called Bullion Bitcoin, and uh, since then a lot of other people have, have done similar sort of startups, and uh, you know, we have one here in the conference uh, today, uh, and a lot of people are trying to marry the two concepts. I'm not sure that anyone has quite got it right in terms of getting traction, in terms of overcoming the big issue with gold, which is trust. Is the gold really where people say it is mm -hmm. and that that is a big issue to get over in gold um, and uh, really I think that it'll only fully be resolved when a big player in gold now decides to cross the frontier and take on cryptocurrencies as opposed to the other way round so so I think that's more likely but uh, um, and I think that you know that is coming um, but in the meantime, I don't think anyone's quite cracked the marriage of those two assets, which seem to be very well made for each other. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, as I say, you're, you're quite well known around London. Have, have, what's caught your eye recently in terms of either an investment opportunity or a startup where you thought that's got great potential? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm looking at a range of different things. Um, I think that it's very exciting the way the ICO scene has started to take off. Um, you know, there's, there's some very good ideas around um, uh, EtherCamp. Um, where you know there's hacker gold which is going to be used to back projects um, similar and related was the DAO which unfortunately didn't work but I was very enthusiastic about as a concept mm -hmm. and I think wings is a very interesting and a good concept and uh, so I'll be certainly taking a, a very close look at that um, and and finally I mean in terms of other coins I'd say IPFS Filecoin looks interesting as well to look at, um, and then just generally, I think I think Bitcoin continues, despite its the scaling debate, continues to be very attractive, um, based on transaction volume and the number of people who are using it, uh, continues to grow steadily. As as the gentleman from Pantera said yesterday, it really is all about transaction volume. I think with Bitcoin, and so the more transactions you see there, the more value the protocol has, and the more we can expect the price to eventually rise to reflect that that network effect right well listen i won't take up any more time i know we've got john mcafee just about to give a keynote speech so thank you very much Great adam we really appreciate you. it thank Cheers. you thanks a lot